Hi everyone and welcome back to Technique Thursday. Last week we did one side of our canvas bag and this week we're going to work on this side and we're going to do some stencil fun I think. So let's get started. Again I'm going to work with these paints from Studio 71. I'm really liking how thick they are. They are a fun, fun paint. So I think what I'm going to do is just make a pattern on this and then do the stenciling over top, kind of like how I do my journal pages or my art cards. Or maybe we'll try a stencil right on here. So again, I'm going to pick up the jelly plate and do it onto the bag so that I uh, know where we're going. So we'll just put that right there and press it down. That's fun. And do some of the edges maybe. Make sure we get everything going. And maybe a little bit here. All right, that's kind of fun, right? We've got some pink and yellow happening. Now what color should we do? Let's do green and pink maybe. I'm really digging pink. And you know it's gonna have white polka dots, right? We know about the polka dots. Okay, let's try this out. Okay, so we'll just put that onto the bag. I think I should do the handles because I've got quite a quite a mess going here. So we'll put that one right there. Press it down. Always fun to see what's going to happen next. All right, we'll put that here. Try to get some paint on the side. There we go. That's fun. Maybe we'll try this one. I don't even know if these have names on them somewhere. Bright Aqua Green. We're all for Aqua Green, aren't we? I think we're going to like Aqua Green. I think I'm going to keep this whole side with pinks on it. This is so fun. Oh gosh, you should have seen my hands. I had to go and uh, fix that. Oh wow, that was something. <laughs> Okay, let's put this one up in this corner. I love this 5x7 jelly plate. It kind of fits perfectly on this little bag. I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, that's cute. I'll put some, press some more into there. Get rid of all this paint. Maybe put some on this. Can always add paint, right? We love paint. So you can just keep pressing it down and ghosting the prints and that's kind of fun. Now, pink and what should we do now? We've done pink and yellow and pink and green and pink and aqua. We'll do pink. That's a lot of pink. And maybe some orange. That's fun. I'm just going to grab a piece of paper here and get some of this color off. Always good to have scrap paper. Well, this is going to be kind of wild. But we like wild in the studio. All right. And this paint is all the stuff from the other side that kind of got all over the table and all over me. And I was going to change my background today on my desk, but I thought not when you're jelly printing. Probably not the best time, right? To put a nice clean white piece of paper. I use poster board to kind of keep my desk semi-normal. But that doesn't always happen. Just want to add some, try to get this over here with some paint on it. Okay, so there we go. Put the jelly to the side. And now we have our bag. Put the brayer over there. 
And I guess too, you can use your brayer and just add paint if you want. You can just put some wherever you want. Get rid of those lines in the middle. Just put a little, put a little extra something on there. Clean off the brayer right onto the bag. Why didn't we think of that? I don't know. I don't know why I don't think of these things. I'm inspired daily. I just do my thing and see what happens. Just gonna just clean all this off. Make it nice and dry so we can continue on and do some stamping fun in some cool colors. All right. Okay, so let's see. The mini geometric looks kind of fun. We could do that right on, could just use the whole thing. Well, that's going to be fun. We'll do it this way maybe. So I'm just going to add some paint to the tray here and maybe we'll grab a sea sponge. Let's see how that's going to work. This is thick paint. Wow. I really like the thick paint. Let's see how that's working. Well, you can kind of see it, but not really. Can you all hear my phone honking? Those are my sons having some sort of conversation with themselves. We have a group chat for our family, and everybody's away this weekend, except me. I'm home. And uh, so the boys are texting back and forth. And of course, I really am so interested to hear everything they're talking about, right? There they go again. I should go turn that off. They're very chatty today. Oh, that worked. I think we're just using the wrong color. So we'll put this back. Let's see if we can put this back and continue on with this color. That seems to be showing up better. And that ding-a-ding-ding, -ding, that's my daughter. And if my hands weren't full of paint, I would go over there and turn off my phone. So let's get this started. Let's take a peek now. Oh, I like that. That's fun. We'll just put that stencil to the side. And we'll grab another one. This is one I cut the other day. It's just all circles. So I really want to try this somewhere. And I'll try that right there. And what color should we do over top of that? Hmm, I'm thinking. I still want to try pink. Or maybe yellow. Maybe yellow will be it. Let's get a big glob of yellow going. I may have to go back and see if they've got any more of this uh, paint. I'm really liking it. Let's check how yellow's doing. Oh, yellow's doing good. We'll just continue on with our circles. I think this bag is going to take like two days to dry though, really. And I think what I'll do with the ends of the jelly is just do the handles of it. I'd like to try stamping in black ink and see if I could put some words on it, but I'm scared to try that. I guess it's not going to hurt, right? We can always try, and if it doesn't work, bah, we'll jelly over top of it. These are fun stencils. I cut them out of my silhouette, but um, the plastic is, it's called a graphics plastic. And the paint just dries right onto it. Okay, that's fun too. Two stencils down. What else can we do? I love this new one that I got. It's big paint brushes. I just picked this one up the other day and I thought, wow, okay, that's fun. So I think we should do some paint brushes up here. I love this big one. You'll see that one in an art journal page as well. So maybe we'll do try to do them in some different colors. If we can get the paint not all over our hands. 
and try to get some onto the oh that's cute and we'll do maybe the big one yellow I love stencils I don't think I can ever have too many stencils they're just so handy I use them for scrapbooking and uh, geez everything mixed media I use them in Bible journaling there's just no end to what you can do with these all right two paint brushes and maybe pink I can't give up on the pink today pink's gotta work okay I think we need a new sponge good thing I have a ton of these little babies sponges or pouncers you can use uh, Oh, what are those makeup sponges okay so let's see oh I like that that's cute I think we have to do one little one right here because of the uh, stuff we got going on I got a little bit of pink so I'm gonna try to do a really thin little brush back in the green oh I like that that's really pretty put the stencil off to the side Let's pick up the bag for a minute, take a peek. Pretty cool, huh? I'll be right back, I'm going to turn off that phone. Okay, phone is off, we don't have to listen to the kids anymore. So we've got one square left, and hmm, <coughs> excuse me. I love this stencil, I cut this out the other day too, but do you see what I'm saying? The paint dried like right onto this, you have to like scratch it off kind of kind of crazy I'm not sure what to do with this I would love to do some green but I also don't want to do everything in green so maybe we'll do a bit in green a bit in pink a bit in yellow we'll just do a little bit of everything on this one this is gonna be a fun mixed media project let's take a peek oh that's working well I really like this green. I think maybe I'll just put some green over top of that and just keep going with our theme here. We'll do some yellow up here. Dabbing in a sponging. Look at my fingers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's cute. And then maybe more pink. And then you know white polka dots. It's got to be white polka dots, right? That's so gonna happen. I can't stay away from white polka dots lately. As I said in my last video, if you're a friend of mine on Facebook, you'll notice I have polka dot shoes as my cover photo, and that's because I really love polka dots. Okay, well that didn't turn out well, kind of like the other one. So I think I'm gonna go back to the green. Yeah, I should wipe this off. A little baby wipe going on. green right over top of it and hope that works oh yeah that worked okay so here we go look at that that's kind of fun right and yeah I got these bags these canvas bags on eBay and they were cheap I think they were 99 cents and I'm gonna try to carry this theme over here put a little more of the aqua or turquoise in the thing oh sorry let's get the bag in the picture I get working and forget where I am I think I'll just do some maybe little circles just to put a little bit of uh, carry that green through I think I like this side better than I like the other side and that's okay too right we'll just keep hold the bag this way and I bought two bags just in case I really screwed one up bad. So that's kind of funny. <laughs> and there. And maybe here. And here. Yeah, let's just keep going because we don't know when to stop. All right, and another stencil down. So we've got circles and stencils this is really fun so now I think what I'm gonna do is just grab the white 
and then add some polka dots to it. Whoa, here comes the white. Get another sponge. And I think I'll just use this circle explosion and just do some random dots, maybe bigger dots. Let's see how that's gonna work. I'm not sure what to coat this with to, um, so I could wash it. I don't think it's gonna be washable. But it's so crazy painted that I don't think you'd notice, right? I'll do here a little bit of white. And maybe some here, little dots and bigger dots. Because we love polka dots. I keep looking at it and then I go, okay, yep, that's enough. Or nope, needs a little more. I never can decide what's going to be right. Or how much. Or And with this, you can't really... Um, take it off like you can with a baby wipe, let's say, on your journaling. This gets, gets sucked right into the fabric. Okay, I think maybe a dot here. And we'll call that done. Wait, one more. So, I think we're finished with this. This was a really fun side to do. Thank you so much for joining me. And now I'm gonna get messy painting up these handles. And I will see you all next week on Technique Thursday. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye-bye.